I think my, my first interest is because I just like eating food, to be honest. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to grow up in Singapore and food it was, was a big part of our life in Singapore and seeing so many different food cultures and being part of that as a young child, um, I guess kind of just got the bug really. I think, I think growing up in Singapore it certainly influences what I cook in my private life a little better, not necessarily in the restaurant. I think it's more, in terms of, maybe not cooking, but more inspiring to be a bit more kind of adventurous in terms of what we eat, what I eat and what I, I like to eat or try or, you know, I, I, I will eat pretty much anything, I'll taste anything. I, I love to see exciting different foods, different cultures and so like, yeah, I guess I'm classically French trained and I'm now working in a British restaurant. I've always spent pretty much my whole career within London and, 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 and just, just out on the outskirts. So my cooking is very traditional kind of British, but, but with a lot of French elements in there. I, I did an apprenticeship up in Chester and then, then, then moved down to London to work for Gordon Ramsay. And, and, and I think that was a huge turning point in my career because not only did it, you know, start running at 100 miles an hour and, and completely turn on my head the kind of thought process of how a kitchen operates and how it runs and, 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 and have food. So I, I'd say without a doubt, you know, Gordon, Gordon was a massive influence and a massive inspiration in my early career. And then latterly, uh, I, I was fortunate enough to, to, to take the head chef role at Mays, working alongside Jason Afton. And, and again, Jason, very different style of chef to Gordon in terms of the way he, he come from a different background, joined a senior level rather than a junior level. So, so worked in a very different way and, and, and thought about ingredients in a different way and, and, and managed the kitchen in a different way. So it was, it, there's two people really that kind of, I guess, carved out my, my, my influences really would be Jason Afton and, and, and Gordon Ramsay. We relaunched the restaurant um, in March. Uh, we, 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 we wanted to create a concept that, that worked within the hotel because we're obviously a five-star hotel. And, and so we wanted something that, that, that worked with all our, our hotel guests, but yet then drew public in as well. And I think the big thing for us was just something that, that, that was, you know, acceptable for people to eat throughout the day. We wanted an all-day dining concept, we wanted it quite relaxed, we wanted it quite flexible. So, you know, there's, there's dishes on the menu as simple as fish and chips or a really lovely steak and Elstein pudding through to kind of really elegant kind of scallop ceviche or, or, or our game bird dish, which is a really lovely kind of uh, roasted pigeon with a, with pigeon consomme. So, so I kind of wanted that, that real flexibility with the restaurant and dining. So, you know, you can have an infinite afternoon tea to, to a lovely steak and, you know, just a kind of really relaxed atmosphere. I think here we really wanted to create a kind of... Um, a really super traditional British kind of restaurant. I think we took a lot of inspiration from kind of St. James's in the local area and, and, and really wanted it to kind of really sing out that kind of real old historical kind of real British almost gentleman's club like um, kind of atmosphere really. The, the, the biggest motivation we have here is, is seasonality, I think, and, and so, you know, looking forward to autumn coming into season, to, to, to whether it be game birds, whether it be uh, the mushrooms and the squashes and, and the, the really kind of, you know, the, the, the weather getting cooler and being able to kind of create more hearty food. And then again, the same, you know, springtime again to lighten things up. And I think for me, it's the change of seasons that inspires me more. And we, we try to stick with, with, with the best produce we can find within the British Isles. So. The, the seasons without a doubt control that for us. We really focus again on British produce and, and, and trying to you know, champion that. And I think certainly this time of year, you know, we've got such an abundance of gaming season, you know, and, and, and I think we have a huge responsibility as chefs and restaurants to, to promote game because again, it's, 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 it's this byproduct of a sport. And, and so actually, you know, the last thing we want to do is export it all or, or, or have it go to waste. So, so, you know, I think it's really important that, that you, we work with it. It's, it's, it's a, a massively healthy meat. It's obviously free range. It's, it's you know, super high in protein and, and it's really, really good for you. And so, so I think it, it, it has a lot of diversity to it as well in terms of the way you can cook it and what you can do to it. So, so it's nice. I think we, we work with a lot of game here, you know, from, from anything from partridge to mallards to, to, to snipe and woodcock and grouse. So, so, I mean, we try to make sure throughout the season that the menu's packed with as much game as possible.